So here we go. In order to understand what made Ringo so valuable and priceless for the Beatles, it might help to understand what Ringo is not like. Yes, that's a nice groove. But is there a specific song that comes to your mind? Not really. It sounds familiar and hundreds of songs have a similar groove. But now listen to this. take a deeper look into Ringo's drumming. I'm going to give some examples and I will try to bring across what makes Ringo a great drummer for me. Please note that I'm not allowed to use original Beatles recordings for copyright reasons. Instead, we used recordings from a Beatles tribute band that my dad was involved in, the Silver Beatles, located in the north of Germany. We had to turn the volume of the backing tracks really low in order to prevent the video from being blocked right away. So these are not meant to be regular covers. This is all about explaining Ringo's unique style of drumming. Please check the video description for details. Ringo had this gift of coming up with the best possible drum track for each and every Beatles song. Many of his drum parts are unique and recognizable only hearing the isolated drums without anything else. Only very few drummers in history achieved something similar for so many different songs. These are some examples of Beatles songs with a unique drum part.
another example. I'm sure you heard this before. I hope you enjoyed my humble little tribute to Ringo. When we talk about Ringo, it's all about taste, tone, musicality and feeling. Not so much about speed and being the fastest drummer on the planet. There are two more aspects worth mentioning. First of all, Ringo was a left-handed drummer who played on a right-hand kit, which led to some of his typical fills that right-handed drummers might find hard to get right. Ringo explains this himself in another video that's linked down below. Then there is the important fact that Ringo was one of those drummers who influenced a whole generation of young drummers to learn the matched grip, as opposed to the traditional grip. There is a great video on the subject by Daniel Glass. See the video link down below. Once again.